Hello everyone, this is the teaser video for this coming Sunday, November 26th. Um, it's the last Sunday before we get into the Advent season. Hopefully everyone had a great Thanksgiving. As you can tell, I don't know if you were here on Sunday, by the end of Sunday my voice was almost gone. Uh, nothing like allergies and sinuses and all that great stuff. But I'm feeling alright as long as I don't talk too much. So I want to go ahead and get this teaser video out while I still have a voice. But for this coming Sunday, I want you to think about, have you ever started something and then failed to follow through? Um, I think we all can say yes to that for one thing or other, or we had an idea, or there was something that we wanted to do, then eventually life got involved and we never followed through. Now, we're going to be looking at a passage from 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verses 10 through 15. 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verses 10 through 15. And you're going to see Paul actually telling the Corinthians church to follow through on something that they said they were going to do. So, as I always want you guys to dig in and learn, learn a little bit more, I've got a couple of things for you here. First, you're going to answer that question of what was something you started and you failed to, to follow through. And then is there anything in the church that you had something that you were hoping to start or had an idea of something that you should start and you never followed through with it. It could be something as, hey, I'm going to start biblically tithing, but then you never did the math, or you never followed through, and you just kept doing what you were doing. Or there was something that was laid on your heart about a ministry, an event, or something that you thought the church should do, but then you never followed through. Think about that. So that's the one challenge. Here, for 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verses 10 through 15, find out what Paul is telling the Corinthian church to follow through with. He commends them, um, but it's a year later and he's saying, hey, they should follow through with what they had planned to do. Then the last part is verse 15. You'll see a phrase, a sentence there. Um, see if you can figure out what that's referring back to. Because it'll say, as it is written, what is that talking about? Um, what do you, when you look that up or when you figure that out, what is that referring back to? Because if it's as it is written, this is obviously 2 Corinthians, it's a letter to the church, it's referring something to something that was written in Scripture um, that Paul can reference back to. So that's your challenge. This is a kind of shorter video. Uh, I want to thank everyone who was at the congregational meeting, uh, thank the council members who served, and uh, we welcome on the new council members as we get ready for this next year. Um, so everyone have a great and happy Thanksgiving, and I look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Until then, take care and be safe.